Hi everyone, this is Matt Archambeau from drawingtutorialsonline.com and I have decided to do a, another podcast this week. Okay, I've already put podcast number six out, I believe, on Texture and I started this new tutorial and uh, a lot of members, this is going to be podcast number seven, a lot of members have been uh, requesting that I do a tutorial on hair and not just any hair but like wavy hair, curly hair. So I decided to kind of give them what they wanted and do like a crazy um, kind of uh, out of control hair tutorial okay and I'm in the beginning stages I'm actually trying something a little different and I'm gonna point out I'm gonna give you some uh, tips on this video in a second uh, I tried something uh, very different this time around on the tutorial I'm photographing each step of the way okay and normally what I do on the site is I just really go major video, major video, and I start that way, and I really don't photograph the process, but this is going to be more of a multimedia piece. I'm going to photograph the process each step of the way from the very beginning of my first couple of lines. I already did that this morning, and then I'm also going to film some aspects of it, and maybe um, by the end of this, I'm going to have a lot of, lot of information. It's going to be a portrait tutorial as well. Uh, but you know, let's talk about drawing hair. Now you can see here I've got this kind of laid out and it is very light. Okay. Now I work slow and you know there are times if I'm drawing in class I'll I'll commit. Absolutely I'll commit and I'll I'll press down hard on the pencil and I'll just kind of put down some confident line for like a gesture drawing. But but for this type of drawing, I am just totally going to uh, build up my tones and we're dealing with a hair tutorial how to draw hair and hair is extremely extremely soft so what I'm doing here while I am measuring all these negative spaces um, getting in all these like funky shapes of each strand of hair I am working from light to dark okay now a lot of students in my class will leave me and they uh, work light to dark and they tend to be a little timid when they first start their drawings so I'm really starting to emphasize the importance of doing gesture lines um, and being able to do that with confidence and not just doing this light to dark kind of safe way of drawing so that's number one with hair when you are drawing hair like this you've got to have it extremely extremely soft edged no hard edges at all and so by working with this colorase pencil on Bristol smooth paper you're able to do that okay so now that's what I do first and the big thing that I also teach when drawing hair is it's extremely important to get shape of hair shape of face down I'm just gonna put this little piece of paper um, a little bit closer so I don't smudge this too much uh, very important like I started this drawing right here okay and I really started looking at the angles I'm not going to turn this into an angles demo but that's honestly what I was looking at when I was drawing the hair versus the forehead and so that is huge when you're drawing hair it's a huge technique and it's very valuable you always want to you know shape of hair versus shape of face combined with very soft edge to the hair you know sometimes where the hair meets the forehead over here if someone has like black hair uh, it looks pretty sharp and you can leave it sharp in a little section but a little section is all like the rest of the hair where it meets the face is going to be extremely extremely uh, soft okay and if you look over here um, I'm really I'm in the beginning stages this is really dark over here this is the shadow part of the hair and I'm in the beginning stages of just kind of blocking in my tone so this is just going to really blend in totally with a sternomastoid muscle and maybe I'll have like a hard edge over here definitely a hard edge on this part of the forehead and a hard edge on this part of the face but this whole side of the hair where it meets the uh, face is going to be extremely soft now we've spoken about very soft edges we've spoken about shape of hair shape of face and I'm building up it up slowly you should block the tone in very quickly early on in the drawing so now what I also want you to look for when you're drawing this type of drawing this is tedious there's no doubt about it that it, it is extremely tedious but what am I looking for old school like I use the same techniques over and over and over again I am looking at negative space so this negative space I'm looking at that and I've, I have a photo right up in front of me uh, of this female and uh, for the members of drawingtutorialsonline.com they are going to get a PDF 
and I'm going to include all these photos that I took of the drawings step by step. And of course, underneath and above the video, I am going to have this photo of this woman who's quite beautiful. And so using these negative spaces is huge. So here's a negative space, okay? And at the same time, I'm pulling a line straight across from where this hair, piece of hair touches her face. And I'm pulling it across and I'm like, all right, well, where are her lips now in comparison to where that is? And you know, right away I see like a little mistake. So maybe this needs to be lowered. This needs to be lowered. So I adjust that. So I'm using measuring and I'm using this negative space. Okay. And so I can come back in. This is what I say, why I say it's really tedious is because, you know, now I look at that negative space and now I would look at this little negative space. Now, again, you don't have to do this, but if you're doing a job for a client and they want you to get the likeness and they you know you they went to the photo shoot with you and they photographed the model and they want it to look exactly like that one particular photo this is a skill that you must have and if you're even a portrait painter and you're trying to get a likeness of somebody looking at these little negative spaces in between the hair um, is really important and I really started mapping them out even on this side you know, I've got this like little negative space and I'm working so light that if it's a mistake, hey, no problem. I can always just kind of, you know, blend it into the background. I have negative space over here, lots of negative spaces over here. And this does take focus and concentration. Okay. Now, the other thing that you want to take into consideration when you're drawing hair, like this over here is all fine and dandy. I mean, I'm going to, this is going to be very solid over here. You don't want to have strands of hair everywhere. You've got to have an area of the drawing with hair like this that is extremely chaotic you gotta have an area of the drawing that is blank empty void of detail and if you look at a lot of great paintings the the, the artist always will leave that section of the shadow area void of detail so where am i going with this where, what's the big picture item that i'm trying to teach you number one you've got to have your pencil strokes go with the lay of the land, the way the hair is combed, the way the hair is laying, the way in this instance, the way the fan is blowing this woman's hair. Okay, and uh, that's a great little trick to do as well. If you are photographing a model for an illustration job, put a little fan on their hair and uh, you know, blow their hair a little bit. It'll just kind of give it a little bit more life. It'll take the stiffness out of it. It won't just be so flat. So that's the other thing you want to have when you're drawing these like shapes, you've got to be conscious of, you know, the direction that you draw this hair in. Um, and I'm going with the way that the hair is laying on the body. Now, there's a lot of other things that I can talk about with hair. Um, and there's just not enough time for me to do it on, on this podcast. But I think if you incorporate the negative space, if you understand that really big detail that you've got to have the edge of your hair extremely soft, if you draw your pencil strokes with the way the hair is going, and uh, all these things, if, if you just incorporate those three things, wow, what a difference you will get away from helmet head. Okay, shape a hair, shape a face is just another very simple technique. I know I've repeated that a lot, and uh, it's just something that works. You know, you don't want to know five million techniques. You know, you, you do anything. You play football, you play basketball, it comes to math, it, it comes to, you know, being a woodworker. There's usually a dozen things that you have to master, not 14 million. So when you're drawing hair, there's really like six things that you've got to master. And uh, you don't need to master a million and you just need to keep getting better at those six things. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here, we're coming up on like 10 minutes. I would love to hear from you. Okay, what would you like to see in a DVD? I've got, you know, DVDs on how to draw portraits, figure drawing, how to draw the hand and foot. I've got one on painting, uh, you know, one on a finished illustration. I've got one on how to draw fabric. Would you like to see a portrait, uh, another portrait DVD, an advanced portrait DVD? Would you like to see a DVD that teaches you composition? How about a DVD on memory drawing? What, what are you interested in? I would love to hear from you. You know, just go to drawingtutorialsonline.com, go to the top bar right underneath the banner and click on contact. Email me. That would be really helpful. I'm not looking for a book. 
I know that you have a life and you know you got a lot of things going on but I would love to hear some feedback from you because I can the next DVD that I'm really considering doing is I'm considering doing a, a DVD that teaches you how to do memory drawing from A to A to Z and it's gonna be like a just a, a plain Jane two-hour DVD um, none of this four disc stuff I mean I think that the cast drawing uh, DVD is was a, a pretty good success and now I play that video in my classroom while my student students are drawing and uh, we I teach that that whole first disc is like such a good um, disc to teach people how to do tone and how to start off doing a realistic thing but what do you want to learn again I, I'm leaning towards a memory drawing uh, DVD, just a one DVD, two hours, maybe with some extra PDFs that go uh, with it. That would be really, really helpful. Okay, so I appreciate you watching. I'm going to be continuing with this. I've got a few tutorials rotating on the site. I mean, I'm still in the middle, really in the beginning stages of project illustration. I'm squeezing in some anatomy tutorials. I'm squeezing in this hair tutorial because it is a request um, that a lot of people have asked me to do a very busy hair tutorial and I'm um, also a new thing that I've started for members it's gonna be live on Monday is I'm gonna be doing a half an hour live show and it's gonna be an all request I like to say all request hour but I don't know who's gonna be on there so I don't wanna go say an hour I could have five people but I'll stay on live for an hour and I will draw what you request. Okay, it's really, really neat. I mean, I'll have some Ustream shows that, uh, Ustream.com, where you are, it's gonna be public, but the bulk of them are gonna be for members of the site. And uh, if, if you want to uh, get involved with that, if you are a member, you have to join Twitter, because you are gonna chat with me while I'm drawing via Twitter. And it would be nice if you had a Ustream account as well. You can log right on there. And my Ustream show is probably ustream.com slash drawingtutorialsonline.com. So this is a real long podcast. I'm at my limit. So yeah, those are the four uh, quick little tidbits on how to draw hair. Thanks for watching.